The family of a man killed after a police chase through Tulsa almost a year ago now says they're suing the city that hired the officer Sky took. 2 News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani looks into the case. Back on May 29th of last year, motorcyclist Michael McKee was being pursued by Skyatook police officer Leanne Richards for suspicion of speeding. When the chase appeared to come to an end, investigators say he was struck at 37 miles per hour by her squad car. A medical examiner's report later found McKee had meth and amphetamine in his system when he was fatally injured. The family's attorney, however, says the entire incident should have been avoided and suggests that the officer put others in danger before committing a homicide. How it's possible that somebody can run into somebody at 37 miles an hour and hit them and kill them and that not be a crime. That not be, that is, that's got homicide written all over it. Attorney Mark Lyons says he and the family of Michael Wade McKee seek $10 million in damages from the city of Skyatook and the officer who was reportedly told not to pursue McKee without backup from Skyatook or Tulsa City or County authorities. According to an accident report filed by Tulsa Police, the chase ended more than 20 miles away from Skyatook here at 31st Street in Peoria Avenue with Skyatook Police Officer Leanne Richards hitting McKee while he was standing at his motorcycle. Page 19 of the report states, quote, it was extremely obvious the Honda motorcycle was struck by the Ford Explorer while it was still in a vertical upright position, adding that the impact caused him to be thrown from the motorcycle. It also mentions that Officer Richard's squad car didn't have a dash cam and she didn't have a body camera on either. The civil case has been filed in federal court, but a hearing hasn't been set. Lyons expects the process to drag out for at least a year, but the attorney also argues criminal charges should be filed soon. The public needs to know about this because it keeps happening <clears throat> and repeatedly it just goes on and on. It's got to stop. When we called the city of Skyatook, we were told nobody was available to comment this week. A spokeswoman from Tulsa County District Attorney's Office says DA Steve Kunzweiler is unavailable to comment while he's in a trial this week. We were also told the DA's office can't consider pressing charges against the officer until TPD's investigation is done. In studio, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.